Greetings YouTube, PyPlusitano here. First and foremost, housekeeping. I'm smoking some Orlick Golden Slices and my beautiful Paul Winslow Bog Oak Apple with a straight bamboo shank. It's small, it's light, comfortable. And like all the bamboo pipes I have, it smokes like a dream. And today, I would like to talk to you about uh, mortar pipes, also known as bog wood pipes. Now, I'm sure everyone has already heard about meerschaum pipes, briar pipes definitely, and corn cobs. Uh, there's also pipes made out of bone, etc, etc. Uh, this material, the bog oak, is, well, let me tell you a little story. You're in the forest, you got a great big old oak, it ends up uh, dying for some reason and falling into a peat bog, and by whatever reason, it ends up bur being buried in it. Now, the peat bog uh, environment is a high acidity and low oxygen environment, which pretty much uh, guarantees that the wood will not decay. In fact, it will begin to fossilize. You can think of the bog oak as the early stages of fossilization, in which the wood inside that environment gets uh, penetrated uh, by water containing tannins and other minerals like silicates and iron, and the tannins uh, render the wood um, dark brown grayish color um, if it stays there long enough in an adequate uh, environment uh, pressure uh, and with the right minerals around it it will become jet black just like this one it is a, a very expensive material i mean it has to stay in the ground for a thousand years at least and then be dug out by somebody who happens to find one of those uh, great big old oaks and has to be transported very carefully because it's very fragile and then dry it up very very slowly because this wood will crack very very easily if not uh, dried up uh, properly a bit like briar but briar is a a living thing by the time of the harvest. Now, what do I think about the uh, bog oak pipes? Apart from the beautiful color and from the different grain, uh, it's very different grain from your typical briar pipe, I really think they have some advantages. They have no taste whatsoever. They give no taste to the tobacco whatsoever, unlike uh, briar pipes when they are new. Uh, however, that's not true in all cases. I got two more bog oak pipes that I would like to use an, as an example. This here is a Herman Hannon uh, bog oak pipe, and it's got. It's not exactly black. It's more of the brown grayish uh, color I talked to you about. Uh, this color is given by the tannins in the water. And this one here is a Josef Pramer uh, Prince, which is an amazing piece of artistry. The material on this is jet black, very deep with a beautiful gray. It's perfect. The difference between these two when you smoke them uh, it's not that great. However, this one, being the youngest of the two, uh, when it's new and you smoke it, you definitely can feel the tannins. Um, it gives you that dry mouth feel like some red wines. Um, and it can taste a bit of old rope, if, if I can say so. That does not happen with this one. It can happen in the very beginning when you're breaking in the pipe, but after three, four, 
balls in this, uh, it, it will be completely neutral. They are not lighter than uh, briar pipes, but you can't really feel that much of a difference. And, uh, well, they're beautiful and they're different and I like that. So there you go. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation to a certain degree. Are you sleeping over there? Well, I hope not. And uh, this is Pipe Lusitano saying uh, goodbye and happy smokes.